iOS 6 came out over 10 years ago. It was the pinnacle of Apple skeuomorphism, a true software that didn't overcomplicate things and it was so incredibly fluid and snappy. And taking a look at iOS 6 in 2013 really made me realize that it's not so perfect anymore. Let me explain why. You know, when I first started this channel, I vividly remember being able to properly use so many iOS 6 features like Apple Maps, Siri, and even connect to my local cellular network, but fast forward two years later, it's not the same anymore. These features have essentially been killed by Apple, and I mean, it had to happen eventually. This is outdated software that I'm pretty sure Apple doesn't expect the majority of consumers to be using in 2023, but it's just sad from a collector's perspective that this software is essentially being more and more unusable by the day. However, I am honestly very very fortunate to still have an iPhone 5 running iOS 6 natively, meaning it has not been downgraded. This is the real deal, swiping through the home screen, launching some old apps like Compass, and just going through all these old ringtones and seeing just how different the camera interface looked back then really is a trip down memory lane. What an incredible moment to be part of back then. It was really like peak simplicity, like the best way to put it. You just had to be there with the iPhone 5 in particular. It was just such an incredible operating system. And you know, it really does feel like it was just yesterday that Apple was revealing iOS 6 to the public at WWDC, and it's just so cool to be able to look through Apple's old website. Definitely brings back a lot of good memories. Now, fortunately, you know, there are ways to actually fix some of these apps in iOS 6, especially since a lot of them have stopped working. For example, the weather app completely stopped working, but if the phone is jailbroken, you can easily install a tweak and get it back up and running again. This online tutorial here does a pretty good job explaining how it's done. I'll have a link down below. But yeah, I mean, I think one of the biggest goals for this year is to really just see how I can make iOS 6 more usable and really bring app functionality back to life on this phone. I will say, definitely expect more content on this device here. The nice thing about the iPhone 5 is that it's fairly simple to jailbreak and downgrade to iOS 6 as well, so yeah, definitely stay tuned for more content on this device. But yeah, you know, ultimately, I just really hope support for iOS 6 doesn't get any worse beyond what it is right now. I mean, back in the day, I was able to log into Spotify, listen to music, connect my Facebook account, all that stuff, but I can't even log in anymore, so it seems like a lot of third-party apps are just not working like they used to like one or two years ago. So um, definitely something I'll need to look into and hopefully we can fix these apps and bring functionality back to them. So yeah, definitely stay tuned for that. And before I end off this video, this isn't even a sponsorship. I actually just reached out to this company called Throwboy and they sent over these really cool Apple inspired pillows. And yeah, you guys can see for yourself, this is honestly what being an Apple collector is all about. I personally put both of these in the backseat of my car. And yeah, like I said, I'm not paid or sponsored by them at all. It's just a really cool company I saw on Twitter one day. So yeah, it's throwboy.com if you guys want to check it out. Such a cool and interesting product. But yeah, hope you guys like this video about iOS 6. Definitely expect more content. Uh, we'll all be attempting to make iOS 6 more usable in 2023. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll catch you guys on the next one.